<laughs> oh man, oh man. Shunei was pushed as the main protagonist of the first game of the newest arc, a game that kinda polarized the fan base with its change in design and playstyle. He didn't even garner a sliver of the popularity or coolness of Kyo or K Dash, nor did he elicit much of a fan reaction like the controversial protagonist Ash. To top it all off, his character trailer was the very first one for KOF 15 and it was marred by the editor being annoyingly addicted to jump cuts. The kid can't catch a freaking break. Despite all of that, I personally feel he's redeemable. Here's to hoping that KOF 15 story does him justice. Shermie seems to have the hots for him and that's a great improvement in my book. <laughs> Anyways, these are 10 fascinating facts about Shune. Number 1 His Initial Design Plans If there's anything that Shunei constantly gets flack for, it's his look, which is often described as awkward and over-designed. Be it the clashing colors, the rolled up pants leg, the bandages, the cape shirt jacket, or the headphones, there is an insane amount of stuff going on with his design. In a Famitsu interview before KOF 14's release, Yasuki Oda implies that the design plans for Shunei were originally very different. He was initially going to have a stereotypical Chinese design. When asked about the China team that was made separately from the Psycho Soldiers, Oda stated that when you actually go to China, there are only fashionable people there, so rather than the traditional Chinese style, I wanted to create a cool character. Whether or not their initial design plans would have been a better fit for Shune is anyone's guess. Number 2 Art Imitates Life Sort of. Some fans looked at Shune and wondered, how can SNK go from Kyo Kusanagi to this? The answer probably won't shock you all that much. Shune, the fresh young upstart forcibly pushed as the current face of the franchise was designed by a fresh young upstart. Apparently the idea was to craft a new hero that would stand out whilst not adhering to the existing KOF series. So the devs felt like the key to bringing in a new generation of KOF fans was to have a new, younger designer come up with the design. Number 3, The Athena Connection Did you know that Shune has been enjoying Athena's music lately? Tis all there on the official KOF 15 website, which is phenomenal by the way. What the KOF 15 website will not tell you is something else that connected Shune to the Psycho Soldier Idol. I'll give you a hint, look at the previous entry. Yep. We're still talking about Shunei's designer. Pro fighting game player Ryan Hart interviewed SNK at Gamescom 2016. Hart had been informed that Shunei had been created by a designer other than Oguda. When asked if this new designer had designed anyone else, Kuroki confirmed that Shunei's designer also designed Athena. Whomever this artist is, they got the push of a lifetime. Not only were they given the task of creating the new protagonist of the newest arc, but they also got a chance to contribute to Athena's dynamic wardrobe. Kuroki also confirmed this designer also worked on another resplendent KOF 14 character. Said character, while totally not a pop singer in storyline, far as we know, was clearly modeled after a pop singer. That character? Sylvie Paula Paula. Number 4 His Intended Target Demographic Oh Kuroki-san, we really love you man, we really do but come on. Kuroki further explained that Shunei's design was intended to be more appealing to the female audience. Yeah, I don't know what to really say for that. I've seen a comment here and there claiming he looks like a male idol. Kuroki further stated that he would be pleased if Shunei was the reason they would want to play the game. I can't confirm that either. If there are any female KOF fans that follow me or watch this, let me know in the comments if Shunei drew you to this game. I'm honestly asking. Number 5. The Howard Connection If you were at the helm of designing and creating a fresh new character that you may want to debut as a new protagonist, it would make sense for you to study other similar characters. SNK seemingly took this approach with Shunei, as Kuroki notes that some additional people involved with his design also worked on one of the company's other most beloved characters, Rock Howard. That is just… hmm… Now that I'm picturing it, Shunei does look all the more like Rock's estranged brother going through a wacky hipster phase. SNK seemingly referenced the Shunei Rock connection with some artwork from Ogura. In the KOF 14 promotional art captioned Rock Howard is back, Rock shares a big ol' hug with Shunei and Mason Kuhn. While this is more than likely an indirect reference, it does also bring up another interesting connection. Number 6. Fatal by Association For such a new character, Shunei has plenty of links and connections to old school SNK fighting game characters. We just went over the Rock Howard connection, but of course, his links to Fatal Fury don't stop there. You know what I'm talking about. 
Shune and his Bezzy Best BFF Maiten Kun debuted in KOF 14 alongside Fatal Fury veteran Tung Fu Ru. This trio's formation meant a lot more to Oda, as he felt that through their connection to Tung Fu Roshi, the two besties are more akin to Fatal Fury characters than KOF characters. I can kind of see where he's coming from seeing that Shune and Maiten Kun's fighting styles are variations of the one that Tung himself mastered and taught others. Number 7 not quite the guy. We again return to Ryan Hart's interview with SNK, where there was another interesting statement made by Kuroki. While Hart refers to Shune as the main protagonist, whilst pointing out how different he is to the previous three in terms of personality, Kuroki surprisingly responds saying, Shune isn't officially the main character, but he will be involved heavily in the storyline of KOF 14. Oh no! Just a reminder that this interview was done not all that long before 14's release, and this is how you feel about your new protagonist? To be fair, Kuroki and company could have just been acting reticent. I mean, Kotaku reportedly asked Oguro about the connection between Isla and Verse, among other story-related details, and only managed to find out that Isla is from South America. Still, identifying him as just being heavily involved with the storyline, rather than straight up naming him as the main protagonist, is a bit weird. Number 8, even he comes with a JoJo shout out. For the record, I'm not big on JoJo's. Not saying I dislike it, I just haven't taken the time to sit down and actually watch it like a lot of other series I plan to watch. I've had people think I'm a fan of JoJo's because I know a couple of key characters and concepts. The reason I know a chunk about JoJo's is because in the few circles of friends and associates that I have, there's a JoJo's fan in each one and they love to tell me about it. Don't ask me why. They just do. Also, All-Star Battle Royale was a great fighting game, they need to bring it back, and I really love Jolene and Lisa Lisa. Anyways, why was I talking about JoJo's? Alright, SNK creates characters inspired by manga all the time, and yeah, there are plenty of JoJo shoutouts. You know at least one. Well, even a newer character like Shune came packaged with an interesting homage as well. His climax super involving supernatural rapid fire fisticuffs and Shune's staccato shouting is likened to Josuke Higashikata and his stand Crazy Diamond. JoJo's fans are probably hella salty as they've dropped this super from his KOF 15 repertoire, which additionally sucks seeing that it's definitely more punchier. <laughs> than this. The interesting part of this is that Josuke, like Shune, is also the fourth protagonist of his franchise. Number 9, limiting your powers with style. And we're back to ragging on Shune's fashion sense. Seeing that King of Fighters A New Beginning is an adaptation that was released a while after 14, I almost feel like the writers saw everyone roasting Shune's design and tried to explain away some of the more awkward elements of it. I say all of this because, simply put, there are parts of his outfit that are power limiters. <laughs> I could already hear a bunch of people screaming, BULLSHIT! Those of you who hate Shune's headphones, it's a limiter. Think the bandages are tacky? Also limiters. Were you like me and thought Shune couldn't decide if he wanted to be a hipster or a superhero, so he went middle of the road with it by wearing his jacket like a cape? I'll have you know that it's not a cape, and it's not a jacket, and it actually isn't a limiter. It's... Um... Oh wait, yes it is. <laughs> I'm curious as to whether or not we'll see Shune pull this in 15 story mode though. Number 10, Chizuru is his big sister. Nah, -ah -ah, pump your brakes, I didn't mean it like that. We've talked about many interesting things concerning Shune, but one thing we haven't covered until now is his voice actor, Takashi Ohara. He also voiced another major SNK character, Ambrosia's faithful agent, Shiro Tokisada Amakusa, in Sam Show 5 Special. Hmm, from a big time villain to a KOF protagonist. Not bad. Well, as I'm sure you probably guessed by now, the voice actress of Chizuru is his older sister, Sayaka Ohara. Sayaka first voiced Chizuru in the RPG game, The King of Fighters World. She reprised the role in King of Fighters All-Star and, of course, KOF 15. Also, just an extra bonus fact, Sayaka also voiced my favorite Sekirei character, Mia Asama, and for that, I'm grateful. But that's all I got for this. Do you know anything else cool about Shune? Something interesting? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos in the future. I, of course, am Chrysalid Lotus, and I will catch y'all when I catch y'all. Take care. Be safe out there. See ya. Hold it! All right, I forgot. Usually I ask you all to vote on the next character that I cover in this series. And you're probably wondering, well, who's it gonna be since you gave us three videos of the last three choices we had? Well, if you wanna find that out, YouTube finally gave me a community tab not too long ago. 
So go on over there and see who the next couple of choices are and vote on the next episode. I'm so glad to have that tab now. But yeah, that's it. I'm out for real this time. Take care. Thank you.